Hey everyone, Darren here from North Texas, coming at you from Corinth. This is Texas Small Town Rides. We're out near Aubrey. This is the continuation of the Rock Hill uh, ride. We are now on Rhodes Road. Nothing spectacular about this road, except for the beautiful uh, farming and residential area that we're driving through. This road has flaws. First of all, no center line. So you need to be careful when you're making your turns. You're not gonna have a reference for center line. You may go over, that gets you in a little bit of trouble. There are tar snakes, middle of summer, you find yourself spinning out that rear tire if you're too aggressive. Uh, this road has flaws other than those there the right hand side there's going to be uh, coming up here there's going to be large uh, what winter does to a road it tears it up creates big round potholes we're getting ready to turn on to wildcat road i believe the name of this road is if i'm not mistaken this is the road that has those large destroyed portions from the freezing coming back over again. No center line, but you notice the neighborhood is absolutely gorgeous. Here's what I was talking about right here. So be careful, take that into consideration when you're riding. The turns on this road, wide open. You'll be able to see where you're going, which makes it really good for people learning to control their motorcycle, people coming up and saying, I want to learn how to take curves, but I don't want to take blind curves, because those could be nerving, racking like on the last road there. So this road gives you bit of a break. We're coming up here on the left hand turn in a business. This is a fairly sharp left hand turn. It's a little blind so you may, if you take it too quickly, you may find somebody slowing down to make a left hand turn into the business or somebody coming out of the business. So be very careful on this corner, especially with the washout here. It could leave residue and silt behind on a rainy day or a couple of days after rain with your bike. You know what that does. It's just going to plow into the dirt. It's going to take a nose dive really smart when you're doing it. Again, you can see this road's a little washed out. From rain, it poured down about an hour prior to me being out here. So it does it does have some decent drainage, but you got to be careful what you're doing. Uh, as you can see, the turns are open. You can see through them, which will give people who want to learn turning and curves uh, at a pace that isn't forced on them by their co-riders. This is not a bad road. It'll get people in the mood to be able to see through the turns uh, wave hello hello everybody uh, beautiful scenery large farms big homes uh, old school texas uh, it's pretty nice out here this road is going to lead us uh, wildcat road is going to lead us down to west sherman or 428 which is where we're going to take a left west sherman really nothing to write home about. It's just a standard secondary road. It's well maintained. Uh, it's got beautiful homes to the right and left. You're not going to really find much wrong with this road. It's just getting us from one place to another. It's getting us from here to, uh, to 2153. So uh, just be aware of the speed limits here. Local sheriffs have nothing better to do, and county sheriffs have nothing better to do than to issue you a ticket so that you get nailed. Here we're turning on 2153. This is, again, just getting us to our next destination. Um, this portion of the ride is all about the scenery. Um, you know, maybe not everybody loves pasture or farmlands, but it is, you know, in the middle of spring late you know summer it can be absolutely beautiful to be careful on this road uh, i would mention that because it is farmland you may come around a corner and find a hay bale or you may find strewn hay on the road so pay attention that can drop you like a rock here we are turning on to shepherd road uh, shepherd goes back to the scenario of pretty much no center line tar snakes I did see a cow the last time I was out here, actually stray cow moving around, so pay attention to that. You might uh, find yourself running into uh, other uh, 
you know, animals. So just be aware that that can happen, especially when you're running down a road like you're seeing here where you can't see off to the right. I have been hit by a deer. It jumped out at me. It got me. It was not fun. So, you know, just be aware that when you're in rural farmland like this, uh, animals tend to hide in these trees and they will come out to get you accidentally. Nobody, you know, they're not trying to take you out on purpose. So just be aware of that. Um, pay attention to the tar snakes. They're one of the scariest things here in, uh, in Texas because for those of you who don't have an environment where it gets to 103 degrees and you can fry an egg on the road you don't know that these tar snakes get uh, get slick they get like pieces of ice and they'll just slip your tire right out if you brake too hard in the front or you hit too hard in the rear it's you're done it's just gonna it's gonna take you out so you know pay attention to them understand that you know that is a scary thing on a straight road not so bad but in other cases it can get you here we are turning to a, our right to get to Gribble Springs Road. And Br Gribble Springs Road has a bit of a surprise for uh, everyone. And you are going to need to pay attention because it, uh, it could get you. Here comes a nice big cement truck. Ever wonder what those giant ruts in the side of the road are on corners? Well, look at there. There's one. And that's the culprit right there. Those guys have to make those turns and those big old tires just dig in. Another thing to take into consideration on these roads is people coming out of their homes typically are on gravel or dirt and they bring it onto the, uh, the finished road with them. We're coming up towards the Integrable Springs Road here. There is a massive pothole and I'm about to hit it. And this pothole cut my tire. My bike is in the shop right now getting a tire repaired telling you this pothole ain't no joke so please pay attention to this road i'll mark the pothole uh, in, uh, in production so that you can see it hopefully um, i'm telling you way ahead of time because this pothole was a mother trucker if you know what i'm talking about and it scared the daylights out of me and had my wife boom had my wife been on the bike with me she'd have been thrown off so just be aware, um, don't overdrive your vision, which is what I did. I was looking too far ahead. I wasn't really paying attention to the road in front of me. It really blended in. I don't think most of you saw it either. And what you don't understand is the little bit of noise that you heard in the video is nothing compared to what the sound was with my 900 pound motorcycle. Um, I saw it at the last second, I was able to stand up, absorb the impact. This is a relatively pretty road, 2164. This is essentially getting us to the end of this video, the end of this ride. Um, it's just gentle sweeps left and right, long straight away. Um, you're just going to be out here enjoying the ambiance that is North Texas. You know, a lot of people enjoy hill country because it's fun to ride on, but you know what? There's something to be said about a nice, gentle, easy day on a motorcycle where it's just you, your bike, the wind, the sun, some friends, and low stress. If you have ever tried riding things like the Three Sisters or the Tail of the Dragon, sometimes those are so demanding on your person and your motorcycle and your skill that you're not having fun until you stop when you're done and you get to reflect I lived or can you believe I did that here you can just relax listen to music and enjoy the scenery and let the bike and your body and the world just flow you don't have to worry about it on a road like this you still need to pay attention and ride your ride but what I'm saying is roads like this are underappreciated because people just want to be out there kicking it, just killing it. Sometimes this is more fun. It's just relaxing. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please like, subscribe, hook me up. I'm going to try to do more. I'm going to try to do better. Thanks, y'all.